Greetings. Welcome back again to Educational TV News Channel, the People's Channel. As you see the thumbnail, it says, Baby found in abandoned car is now a liar. And this is a great story, people. Very great story. And to all of the females out there who get pregnant and by some way you cannot afford to take full responsibility or getting help to take care of your baby and grow up your baby instead of taking the baby life or leave the baby in bushes, toilets, abandoned car, abandoned building, give up the baby to adoption and give the child a chance to live because your life would be tormented for the rest of your life when you know you take away the life of your own kid. And people, what we are talking about is a very great story right now. Very, very great story. And when I see this article in the Jamaica Star, I said, I have to make a video about this. And hopefully, the mother of this lady that we're going to talk about can see it and maybe bring back memories and maybe unite with, you know, her daughter that she left in an abandoned car in a Christiana, Manchester. Now, it being said, people, baby found in abandoned car now a liar. December 15, 2020 will forever be itched in the memory of Joy Carter. It was the day she was called to the Jamaican bar, making her an attorney at law the day before her own fighting past flash before her eyes after a baby girl was found in Coronation Market in downtown Kingston. Carter, a former ward of the state, is not only a liar, but she's also a detective constable. She has endured quite a tumultuous journey and said that the discovery of the baby was a surreal experience for her. She too was abandoned by her mother and was found in a car park in Mandeville, Manchester, one night in 1985 by a policeman whom she only knows as Mr. Carter. She has never met him and has been searching for him ever since. He heard me crying. I was a newborn baby left in an old car. He carried me to the court, but no one stepped up to claim me. And he named me, she said. The infant was placed in the state care and was assigned to a foster parent when she was three months old. She described her experience living in a foster home as challenging. Adding, I was with an abusive foster parent who really didn't care much if I went to school or whether I learned anything. I would mostly stay at home and work. I really didn't get much chance to go to school. And the only chance I had to read was at Sunday school. Carter lived with her foster parents in her Christiana Manchester home until she was 14. When she was removed and placed at the Glen Hope Place of Safety in Kingston, 
and later the Musgrave girl's own. The detective constable said moving from her foster home to a state care facility was the best thing that happened as it allowed her the opportunity to meet her mentor and her mother figure, Joanne Mary Powell. It wasn't the best situation for me, but given where I was coming from in the country, it was way better. I got a chance to go to school and it was enough for me, Carter said. While being a ward of the state, she was enrolled in formal education where she received seven Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate CSEC subjects. I sat two subjects in grade 10 at Dunoon Technical High and I did get them and I was ecstatic because that was the first instance of me thinking that there is a possibility of me becoming something or making good of myself. That was the first instance of me seeing that I can do something. At age 18, when she was expected to leave the state care, Carter had no idea what she would do with herself. She was, however, clear and wanting and that was she would not be leaving to go and shack up with anyone. She had dreams of becoming enlisted in the army, given her involvement as a cadet. She was also encouraged by Powell, her mentor, to seek to become a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. The police organization answered her call and in 2004, she began training and after graduation was assigned to the Alfredry Circuit Court and later Darling Street Police Station. She also decided to get trained as a forensic crime scene investigator, but she felt the need to do more and so she started on the journey to become a liar. And today, people, she is a liar. And she also a forensic detective. Now, when we read these stories, people, it's uplifting. You know what I'm saying? Now, to all of the females out there, when you have your kid and you find yourself in this situation where you cannot have full responsibility and take care of a child, give the child another chance. Don't take the, the child's life away. Don't leave them in abandoned car, abandoned building, bushes, dump them in the toilets and all of these things because your life will be tormented for the rest of your life. No, Miss Joy Carter was lucky that the policeman, Mr. Carter, found her crying in that abandoned car and saved her life, take her to the court, and no one shows up to own up to her. And he, Mr. Carter, the policeman, named Joy Carter. Joy to the world. And now she is a liar and a forensic detective. So that's why I said, when you're throwing away your baby, you could be throwing away the next prime minister, the next teacher, the next doctor, the next Hussein Bolt, the next Bob Marley, and the list goes on. So when you find yourself in this situation, go to counseling, seek help, seek advice. You know what I'm saying? 
before you abandon your child, take away their life, and dump them all over the place. Please leave your comment down below and tell me what you think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good, blessings.